Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Two Set Violin! Ooh. And today we're going to be reviewing a Paganini 5 played by original Boeings by a 12 year old. Oh. You're not 12, Brett. It's not you. Yes, that's right. This video is popped up on our feed about a week ago, and for those of you that don't know, Pag 5, come on. Yeah, years. Pagani wrote 24 Caprices, so Pag 24 everyone knows, right? Yeah. That one, if you don't know it, get educated. But Pag 5 is infamously known for its crazy ass bowing. Would you say it's one of the hardest Caprices? I think so. Okay. Especially if you want to play right at a certain tempo. I mean, there's violinists called Cavacos who completely shredded it in a good way. Yeah, I'd say right now, Cavacos occupies the most legendary but non original bowing. Yeah. Because he true. didn't do the original bowing, but he just does it at speed or sound, breaking speed or sound tempo. Yeah. But somehow everything's accurate in there. Like, you know, it's not sacrilegious at all. It is like, you can hear every single note. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> but you can hear it. It's insane. On the other hand, you have, I'd say, probably the most legendary recording out there right now with um, original Boeing is Sumina, which I think we reacted to a few years ago. Yeah. But she's like, what, 19 in that video? 18? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But now a 12 year old? 12? <sighs> all right. All right, let's go. Here we go. I don't even think I could do that at 12. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty confident, like. <laughs> bang. Yeah. Ooh. Nice, nice bow control. There you got that crescendo on the down bow. For those that don't play the violin, here's a little secret for you. Crescendoing, which is making the volume get louder while doing a down bow is actually always harder because it's lighter here and heavier here. So to do... Again, I, I haven't learned this piece. <laughs> what he did there, it, it requires bow technique, which... Yeah. Like that. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Yeah, that's legit Boeing, hey? Why is it so crisp? <laughs> yeah, it's so it's crispy. Crispier than, <laughs> it's crispier than fried chicken. Basically, it's like four now. But he's going... One, two, three, up, one, two, three, up. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Oh, nice! Mm. But he's 12. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what this kid has been through in the practice room. Practice! I mean, yeah, talent's one thing, but this kid practice. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, his face looks like he's been, he's, he's seen some he's stuff seen in the practice room. He's seen it all. <laughs> been through it. The practice team is coming. He's like, oh, all right, here we go again. I mean, that's the first thing that struck me. Like, you see a 12 year old, normally they're like, yeah. But the moment the camera went on, he's just like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, think of these projects, like one part of the life, they're just normal kids, people don't realize. Yeah. But then when they're on stage, it's become this like, Ling Ling manifested something else. Ooh, phrasing. Oh. <laughs> he just powered through, it's like, yeah. easy, 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 easy. This bow arm is so Yeah, relaxed. that's so impressive. It's so inspiring. There was a, like a musicality to it. it was, Doing a certain phrase, more certain phrase, less. He changed the color, his contact points, some were wispier. He moved it forward, moved it back. I mean, there are a few notes that was, I would say, didn't speak as cleanly in that passage, yeah. but it doesn't matter because it's musical. Yeah, no, nah, it doesn't matter because it's original Bowens. Dude, yeah. I love that. Look at his right hand. Just look at his right hand. Oh! Nice. He opened his eyes then, did you see? He looked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, did, did I you guys just catch that? Yeah. <laughs> did you guys see that? I think I just won the competition. It's like, he's like, I had to activate. 5% of my talent for that yeah. little run. Dude, that was so hard. The higher up you get on the fingerboard, there's two complications. One is your left hand gets tiny and tiny in proportion, right? So 
it's harder and harder to play in tune. The other thing too though that less people know, your contact point as the string gets shorter has to get adjust, right? Yeah, yeah, the bridge. Adjust, yeah. So his margin of error of making the note not speak clearly it's getting to like yeah. the minuscule. You can't like, just play anywhere here. You have to kind of find the sweet spot on your violin. Yeah, like if here, right, I can do this. Or well, speaks, right? But if I'm here and I do that, yeah. that's what happens. It has to be like, bam, right here. Yeah. <laughs> And you can see here, right? He's yeah. pretty much like you said, very close to the bridge, but not on the bridge. Yeah, yeah, he's like very close. Nice. That's literally the only place you could play that sound. If he moves anywhere else, he's gone. Goodbye. And now keep in mind the fact that he's throwing the bow down. Well, not throwing, but you know what I mean. Like ricochet, three, yeah. three ricochet, bam, 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 bam. And each one of those bands are landing at that exact point. Yeah, and then. While doing the stuff with the left yeah, hand. crazy. Whoa. <laughs> he just looked up straight away. He didn't even finish, is it? I love that. He looked right into the camera. Yeah, he's like, you ready? You are in my domain. <laughs> <laughs> I think his bow arm is far superior to his left hand. I mean, his left hand's good too, but it's his bow arm yeah. is just shockingly like, Impressive. wow. Yeah. Yeah, right. and the funny thing is, I feel like, again, he's 12, but it's just funny that what to most people would be the easiest part of the piece was his weakest part. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah I know what you mean. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah. like the opening and the end of yeah, arpeggios. Yeah, yeah. But then the middle part, which is like most people have no chance, he just completely... He's like, I don't want to clear the easy levels. I'm only going to practice the hardest. Yeah. Like the easiest one, oh, I won't spend too much time on it. Yeah. Because I know, he knows if he just practices it, he'll get it. Yeah. But he wants to go for the top. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know if it's like that for you, but for me, it's like with this type of buying stuff, you can't tense up because oh, the moment no. you tense, you're, you're screwed, gone, right? Yeah. And so it means you have to be in that pocket where everything just works. And the moment you fall out of that, you're gone. I notice he has moments of reset. Inevitably, you might want to tense and he resets. He's like, ah, we're okay. good. He's like, and. Well, I don't but know even like, it. if you reset, right? It's like, that's a skill in itself to be able to reset so quickly. Yeah, yeah, he's on resetting. The fly. Yes, he's on the fly. He's like, duh, 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 reset. You can see kind of when it happens. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Damn, so calibrating good. all the wow. way. You know what's the craziest part to me about this whole thing though? It's the fact that this video is only on 987 views. <sighs> Guys, come on, the internet. Why, why is America's Got Talent getting like millions of views? And this absolute freaking genius. Guys, we gotta pump his views up. Let's do it, everyone. Do it for talent. Don't do it for... What was the word? Clout. <laughs> do it for talent. Don't do it for clout. That's, that's to me, it's like, that is just... Un such underappreciated talent. It just means not enough people can understand the complexities of it. But now that you've seen the video, you know how hard it is. Luo Yi Chen, is that how it says that? But yeah, and actually, I was thinking too, how's the teacher? Like, what kind of. Yeah, imagine teaching a 10 year old to be able to do that. Yeah. I wouldn't even know where to yeah, begin. Yeah, it's, like well. <laughs> it's like, hi, I wanna play Fortnite. And the parent as well, how, 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 like. Everything. It's always yeah, a team, actually. It's a team. Everyone's doing it. The yeah. kid, the parent, the teacher. Congratulations, you created a Ling Ling. Yes. Let's keep going. As always, thanks for watching. And if you haven't practiced yet today, go practice. <laughs>